Welcome Facebook friends to another in the series of isolation wine tastings. Uh, day 26, give or take, shall we say. Um, I received some requests uh, saying, hey Phil, can you recommend some more reasonably priced wines? Um, unfortunately, my wine cell over there, that's not conducive. So, uh, and the liquor stores are closed here in Pennsylvania. So my, I'm going to kind of put the two together and make a recommendation for a reasonably priced wine, but we're actually going to try one from the same vineyard, a little more higher end tonight. And, um, that's going to be today's 2008 Ravenswood single vineyard, Old Hill Zinfandel. So first, let me just say, when you think of Zinfandels, they're wonderful reds, and they shouldn't be confused with the white Zinfandel, which tend to be pink in color and extremely sweet. And they're usually made by Sutter Home and various other vineyards. Um, in fact, you know, it was Sutter Home white Zinfandel that I first got my introduction into wines back in the 1980s. And since then, my uh, tastes have, uh, have uh, expanded, <laughs> shall we say, from the sweet wines to the Chardonnays, the whites, and then into the big, bold reds. Um, so... When I think of Zinfandels, uh, Ravenswood always comes to mind, but there's some other really good Zinfandels as well that I'll say, you know, in addition to Ravenswood, there's Renwood, there's Henry, there's Segisio, and Heights Cellars, all some really good um, Zinfandels. So tell you a little bit about Ravenswood. Um, it's located outside of Sonoma Valley in the foothills of the nearby mountains. Um, the story goes that in a fall day in 1976, the winemaker was harvesting grapes, and ravens were taunting him from the tree branches above, hence uh, Ravenswood. Uh, their motto is no wimpy wines, and when it comes to Zinfandel, that's clearly the case. Um, so in response to your request, I'm going to recommend for you to go out and buy a bottle of Ravenswood Zinfandel Vinter's Blend. It's practical. It's an affordable everyday wine. I love it. It's only about $9.00. Um, and, uh, I think you will enjoy it too. So run out to Vin 66 in Rehoboth and get a bottle or when the liquor stores open up here or wherever you're from. So, um, let me recommend, oh, let me just tell you that, uh, Ravenswood has a full range of Zinfandels from the Vinter's Blend, which is about $9 to their County Series, which goes for about $24. Then you get to the single vineyard selections, which go around $40 and more. Um, and speaking of the top of the line from Ravenswood, you'll see here, oh, what I have in front of you, is a series of single vineyard um, wines. Um, these are kind of their higher end ones. And then at the far end on the right is the Icon. And the Icon Mixed Blacks, it's called. That's their Meritage. It consists of Zinfandel, Petite Syrah, and some other really dark red grapes. So... Um, let me do this. They also say, oh, the one we're going to taste today, um, is the far left is the Ravenswood Single Vineyards Old Hill Zinfandel. And, uh, these wines here go for about $60, including the one we're going to try right now. Now, before you quiver at the price, um, you know, it's, these are tremendous Zinfandels. And, you know, when you go to wine enthusiast, I'm going to talk about the one here that we're going to try. Um, it's rated a 95. They claim it to be a Zinfandel on steroids. It's a monster of wild summer berries, tobacco, currant, and spice flavors, all wrapped into a significantly thick tannins. And they say their 2007 was their greatest wine ever, but the 2008 isn't far off. So um, that's what we're going to be trying today. So let's come on over to our Riedel glasses once again. Uh, and I'm glad to see that me, myself, and I are back. And my co-host in crime is Jeff Probst, dressed for the holidays. So um, here we go. So you're gonna notice that the Riedel glass, it's kind of petite, small glass for the Zinfandel. Keep in mind, they design the glass for that specific type of wine to put it on the palate to give you the best uh, flavor. In comparison, not that we're gonna pour the wine into it, uh, this is the Bordeaux on the left. Uh, the Bordeaux is what we tried last week when we had the uh, Caniglio Cabernet Franc. And to the right, we haven't had a chance to use it yet. Uh, this is the Burgundy, as in Ron Burgundy from Anchorman. Keep it classy Philadelphia, keep it classy Rehoboth, keep it classy San Diego, wherever you're from. But um, you know, maybe we'll try a, a Pinot Noir sometime and this will be the appropriate class that we'll use here. 
So uh, let's get tasting. Once again, this is the uh, Venom series for the Zinfandel wine. Wow, um, that's an amazing wine. Um, wonderful tasting. I would say that there's jammy dark fruits in it, not sweet at all, but full of flavor. I would recommend pairing this with barbecue pork ribs, brisket, flank steak, um, some aged cheeses and or flavored cheeses. Tonight, I have a pork loin that was cooked in the rotisserie. Uh, if you go on my wall, you'll see earlier that I already pre-made it because I delivered some to my mother and my sister, Lisa Reich, uh, who um, I know have already ate some and have enjoyed it. So going back to their claim, No Wimpy Wines, um, they also had a claim and it was Veni Vidi Vici. I came, I saw, I conquered. And basically it's saying one of the best Zinfandels made. So um, cheers, everyone. Continue to be safe. Continue to use your uh, sanitizer, your gloves, your mask out there. Stay home as much as possible unless you necessarily need to go out. And um, whether you're celebrating Easter or Passover, I uh, hope you all have great holidays from me, myself, and I who are quarantined here. And um, enjoy. Cheers, everyone.